National Assembly and also the chairperson of the National Women's Council said the team is relevant towards the advancement of women, urging that African states and governments need to consolidate the gains already registered in all spheres of economic, political and social development to reposition Africa, to be united and create an enabling environment for advancement in technology and other gender-related issues. We will no longer be in the shadows, but work side by side with men. <laughs> to make Africa, and indeed the world, a better place to live in. Binta Jambe Sidibe, Executive Director of Women's Bureau, spoke of the Gambian's leader's commitment to empower women as contained in his vision 2016 agenda, which seeks to, among other things, advance the economic status of women, particularly women farmers, with emphasis on food processing and preservation through the value change approach. Gambian women have never been in a stronger position before than in the Second Republic, leading the change and shaping the economic social and political landscape. The 21st century has seen a dramatic shift in traditional family dynamics and greater recognition of gender in legislation and policy frameworks, such as the Gender and Women's Empowerment Policy 2010-2020, the Women's Act of 2010, the Sexual Offenses Act of 2013, and the Domestic Violence Act 2013, the Children's Act 2005, the Trafficking in Persons Act 2007, the Alternative Dispute Resolution Act 2005, Madam Jame Silbe highlighted the achievements made over the years in promoting and protecting the rights of women and girls, but citing inadequate human resources and financial capacity, limited coordination of intervention, which continue to undermine efforts in accelerating the attainment of such policies and programs. For Fatumata Ja Mbenga, President of Women's Federation, this conference will benefit women in experiencing and gaining remarkable success in their endeavors. The role of African businesses, entrepreneurs, and professionals must be strengthened so that they too can contribute to the Pan-African vision. Our women must be empowered as ingredients to the uh, 